I grew up in Malaysia um, on a bird farm. I, I was just not a very good student, you know. I was terrible at math, I was terrible in, in English. I'm still terrible in English. If you are terrible at math in Malaysia, you will automatically go into art, you know. So that kind of worked out for me because that was what I've always wanted to do. So I came to study animation in the States. I got lucky, I guess, and, and I landed my job at a game company. I was at a coffee shop and I needed something to, to write ideas down on. I didn't have paper, so the next best thing was a, a cup because it's also white, you know, it's kind of like canvas. So I, I wrote some ideas down on it and then I also drew some things on the side. I started drawing out a few cups later on. When, when my friends saw the cups, you know, they asked me what I was going to do with it and I said that some of them are kind of nice, maybe I can sell it, you know. One of them just said, no one's going to buy that crap. I wanted to just prove him wrong, you know, and I think I could have done so by just selling the cup for like 20 cents. I'm sure someone would buy the cup for 20 cents, you know, but I didn't want to stop at that. I wanted to make it much bigger. The process takes anywhere from a couple of hours to a couple of months. I don't sketch on the cups, you know, I would draw directly with a Sharpie. Now, I would look at the cup for a long time and then wonder if this stroke is going to make or break the cup, you know. There are times where I got up to about 95%, you know, 98% done and I would draw something that would ruin the entire piece, you know. I think that that challenge was addicting and ever since I drew on the first cup, that's all I wanted to draw on. When I was a kid, I read this book. It was around the war in 80 days and it's always fascinated me. I've worked as an animator for about 12 years now, and um, I have decided to take a break from it and, and see the world. People and stuff like that, they always say they want to see the world one day, but none of them really ever do it. And I decided that if any time is a good time to do it, this is it's the right time. I am going to take Route 66 to Chicago, and then I, had, I don't know where the hell I'm going after that. For the first time in my life, I do not have a backup plan. I, I don't know what is in store. I don't know. There, there will be nothing familiar to me except my cups and the car. You know, just, just go along with whatever, whatever comes my way. The difference between a dream and reality is just doing it. You know, so if you want to get something done, or if you have a, a dream, you know, don't wait, just go for it. My name is Bowie, I'm an artist. Now what are you gonna start?